All right, I'm about to go help my neighbor out. He has a 2018 Ford F-150. He's having some climate control problems. Low heat on the passenger side, and we're gonna use the top don for the first time. This will literally be the first time I'm using this tool. Showed you guys the unboxing. Sorry for the poor lighting, the poor camera work. This is just with my phone. Okay. Main cable. Should be all I need for right now. Let's hook it up to this truck. <laughs> Power wag. You didn't know I was gonna put you on video, did you? So I had this company topped on just sent me this new scan tool and we're gonna play with it on your truck. So, uh, symptoms. I feel the air, it's cold on this side. Oh, it's definitely warmer on that side. Dual climate control, when did this start? When did- A Couple did, days ago. Didn't you have issues in the summertime too with it being, mm -mm. so cold air was fine both sides? Yeah. In the just, summer, as far as you know. As far as I know. As far as you know. I started using the heater. And what's the mileage on this? 99,719. And then what, what year make and model truck? I know it's an F-150. It's a 2014 Ford Platinum. 14, and it's the 3.6 uh, EcoBoost. Yes. Okay. All right, so again, you guys gotta bear with me because this is the first time using this tool. So our purpose here is gonna be to um, scan this whole system, but let me get a recorder going or otherwise Caleb's gonna kill me. I'll be able to read every module in this truck. We think the actuator's faulty. We'll be able to see, at, we should be able to see actuator data. I'm not sure what a smart scan is compared to a system scan. I'm just gonna do a system scan. This is just scanning all the modules that are on the network. Cool, I like the topology so far. The gray indicates not equipped. There's some scan tools that show you a topology like this and then they don't tell you if it's like, a problem communicating or doesn't exist. So I like that feature, that's pretty cool. Diagnostic plan? There's no DTCs in anything. All right, so now we need to figure out which one of these modules is the HVAC control module. You Ford guys would know this. HVAC, duh. Sweet. The only one hidden off screen. <laughs> <laughs> right, it was hidden <laughs> off the screen. Okay, so we already read the codes. There are none, but I'll do it again anyway. Uh, retrieve continuous memory codes. Oh, it did. I wonder why it didn't show up in the topology list, because we did scan it. I am showing a left temperature damper motor failure, a right temperature damper motor failure, a right temperature damper motor failure, so two codes. B1082 1300A and B1082 070A. What I want to see first is the data. Then I think we can do some special functions with it with this too, as far as moving the doors. Uh, this first time using this tool again, so you guys got to bear with me. I am interested in the left door position, left door percentage, the right blend door position, right blend door percentage. So let's select those. We have blend door positions. Does this give me temperature or how does this work? Is it this tell you uh, temperatures up top? Mm -hmm. All right, so we turn the dial. And we should see that door. The right blend door did not move at all. That's on high. Weird that the left blend door moved some. Yeah, that's like not moving at all, Tom. Strange that the left door position says it's in the cold position when it's blowing hot air. It does too, huh? Let's move the left one now. Let's go on high. You see it move though. See the percentage? Mm -hmm. And then go low. So I'm fine with the left door, obviously. Um, a lot of this will have to do with the temperature too in the truck and the temperature of the heater core as far as like mm -hmm. that cold hot kind of position it's, it, it is kind of weird but the fact that it moves I'm more concerned about the percentage 
moving with that and it does this side doesn't move at all so what we know for sure this is not like a plugged heater core or a coolant level issue this is absolutely 100 percent a right blend door motor issue like it's not functioning we should try to we should try to find that motor and just tap on it while we're doing this test so i need to locate that motor it might be accessible um, i just don't know where it is but it's not moving let's do this uh, one more time moving the actuator for the right you see up here we're looking at those numbers right that's not moving at all on the scan tool um, let's so this is an input right input command module is going to look at that number and then it's going to output to the servo to move it and then on the servo is a position sensor it's just like a throttle position sensor in that how it operates five volt ref signal on the ground and uh that input's not moving suggesting the output's not moving also by temperature we know the output's not moving so let me go back let's see if i can so that has programmable module install i was seeing if i can oh, actuation test that's what i want and we want the right blend door position so what this is going to do is this is going to bypass this input completely and it's gonna force the module to move the motor outside or independent of this right here. Hitting the plus button. So I'm changing the value. And then that's the command, it, it never got warmer. Um, that's not the actual position, that's a command. Um, can I add that in here? Let's see, add. Yeah, the ones I already had. That's cool, it kept them selected. So we'll add those in here. This is the value down here. And this is what I'm commanding with the tool. So look at these two. And that's what I'm doing. Uh, so up top, right, commanding that to be 100%. Notice that never moved. And so what that tells us really, we already kind of know that because this is responding like it should be. That tells you your problem's not in here. We're on the output side of the circuit. Right. This is gonna be, a, like if I were to roll the dice and you know, it's, let's say it's like minus 10 degrees outside and we're both freezing cold. Um, I would be done right now. I'd probably tell you to change that servo motor, but let's see if we can get to it and smack on it. That's like, this is a great, great test. Great first look at the top Don Phoenix Max. So you said one's behind the radio and one's behind the glove box. I understand. It's just a push in both sides. Yeah. Okay. It's gonna be like a five wire, probably. Well, the Google wasn't helping me, so I pulled up my information system, and this is showing the right side temperature blend door actuator um, is on the right side of the dash, and it is a five wire. Two wires for the motor controls, three wire potentiometer. It looks like we gotta pull the radio to get to that one. It's right in here, and this says right hand temperature blend door actuator. Let's find the left hand one. Left hand. That is not a great picture. All right, I'm gonna mention this to my friend. As far as getting to it, removal and install passenger side, disconnect the defrost panel floor mode actuator, remove two defrost panel floor door mode actuator screws, remove defrost panel floor door mode actuator. Oh, there's a whole process here. I'm gonna print this for him. I was just telling my neighbor, I'm, I really like this tool first use. I am a fan. I really like the data stream and the way that it kept that memory and the, the functional test, the user interface. Definitely thumbs up. I knew that was gonna be the case with a top Don even before I used it. So that's my first thought of this. Again, my neighbor's gonna take this apart and I'll, I'll get some scope signals for you guys. And we'll measure the potentiometer too and just cover all our bases and nice little quick first video of the Top Don. I'll actually use the Top Don scope too when we do those measurements for you guys. All right, I did a little bit of digging and it is behind the radio for the passenger side. It looks like it might be that guy right up top with the red plug on it. I'm gonna do the actuator test again and put my hand on it. I'm gonna exercise the left door position first. Can you hit the plus and minus right here on the screen for me? Can you mm -hmm. see them? Okay, go ahead, hit it. 
Just keep going all the way. Go up to 100. Go all the way down. Okay, yeah, it's not this one. The one my hand is on is probably the passenger. Okay, so this is my guy. I want to smack on this. Okay, do it. Go to 100%. It moved a little. It went from 20 to 22. It got colder. Never got it to go past like 22%. I feel it getting a little bit colder when you go cold. We're gonna be parts changers. I'm gonna have them change this part. And it's just, it's not waking up. So, mm. I mean, you you should technically, you know, check command signals and all that to it. These are common failures on Fords, Tom. Yeah. One last thing for you guys. When I exit out of here, this tool, the VCMI or whatever they call it, M. DCI, I have to get you guys abbreviation on that. When I exit out of here. <laughs> it dings at you and says, hey, <laughs> don't forget me. <laughs> cool. So you had to take the airbag out. Just letting it heat up. Yeah, you had to take the airbag out. And that was the one that we were messing with. Is that one up there? Yes. And then, okay, so we are we are functioning now. I apologize, guys. We're not going to be able to do the scope testing, the wiring. Uh, Tom's got this all back together. He wasn't he wasn't waiting on me, and I don't blame him. So um, we'll at least do the scan tool part at the end once he gets this back together. But it was radio removal center. You didn't have to take the center console. Nothing in here. No. So just the radio, the panel. There's two bolts um, underneath. Why here. the airbag? Just so you could reach in and grab. There's one. There's one screw. Yeah. Right here. That you couldn't. Okay, gotcha. To take to loosen this to get uh, to this bolt that's behind here. Okay, gotcha. So it's just kind of a domino effect. Okay, yeah. To that get makes to, sense. To get to these two. Yeah. And then there's two on the bottom that hold this in. Okay, gotcha. So we do have heat, by the way. It does work. Just going right to the HVAC module. We'll read codes first. I like that. Clear the DTCs on this tool, and I don't have to reread them. It immediately came up. No DTCs, or maybe I do. Let's try again. I might be wrong on that. Okay, cool. No codes. The self test, we can do that. That will manually open and close everything too, but we can, we're gonna do it the way we did before. Actuation test. I wonder if this will keep the memory of what we had data stream wise from a day ago. Add data streams. No. It was cool that it held it though. So we want right blend door position. Right blend door, left blend door, left blend door. And then this is one where we are, we are manually on high on both of those, right? And what we can do first is um, we can, even in this bi-directional mode, we can look at the right blend door. We're at 98% right now, Tom. And this is my temperature right now, mm -hmm. this one. Mm -hmm. Turning this down. Why didn't that move? You made this go cold before. Mm -hmm. I wonder if in this mode it's locking it out. It might be. Well, let's just do it here first. It might be the mode that I entered locks it in place and it totally is ignoring this. It's possible. So let's do it here. We will dial. Oh yeah, totally. So I put the blend door position and it's cold now on this side. Yeah. So apparently in this mode it locks it. That's pretty cool. I mean, not cool it's like that it's it locks. Well, I'm in an active test mode and it basically is ignoring these inputs is what it looks like. Okay, so is the top one my command? Yeah, okay. I was just I'm confused on what I'm looking at here. My top one up here is my command, what I'm commanding it to do. So this is me hitting the plus arrow to 100%. You see it responded where 99.6, hitting the minus arrow. Now, that's my command. 
that's down to zero percent yeah, right pretty damn close let's get out of this active test mode now that we're out of that active test mode it should now respond but before you turn that let me go to the regular data stream for that all right so this is going to be now where we turn this guy and we should see corresponding changes as we turn it we do so down to there's low yep we'll go low on the pass on the driver's side too just go compare our numbers okay we'll go hot perfect didn't need to do the scope testing it would have been cool to show it but definitely uh, am a fan of this top Don Phoenix Max there's your first view of it guys bi-directional controls on a passenger temperature blend door actuator. Just a couple other final thoughts, you know, carrying this back over from my neighbor's house. I like the handle, you know, it's pretty nice. Then one other thing, check this out. Watch how bright this is. Yikes, I know that's not gonna show on the phone because the phone's gonna dim it, but that's like daylight. That's gonna be a nice screen to see in the bright sunshine for sure. I like that. Android based, very easy to use and control. We'll be seeing more of this tool.